I spoke last time at Minibar and I spoke about Truephone, a mobile VoIP company. And uh, I'm glad to say actually since uh, I spoke the last time we have uh, launched uh, version 3.0 of our client. So if you have a Wi-Fi dual GSM phone, install it and uh, basically enjoy it. Um, um, what I'm here about to speak today is actually about a new startup I have been doing since about a year, uh, a year and a couple of months now. Um, it's a visual search company and um, it has its origin was basically a PhD project uh, in, uh, in London uh, where a guy looked into, um, into basically looking at images and what you can read out of an image without looking at the metadata. And I'm going to show you as a start before I go into the presentation a couple of our application customers which have it live so you can picture it. Um, what we do is we, buy, we build basically visual search engines. Um, this is a particular search engine which is specializing into shoes. Um, you can find every women's shoe in the world on there. And um, if you basically want to search and go deeper um, and you don't like the shoes which are on here, you can click another shoe and the input is basically the shoe and we will find you uh, shoes out of the existing shoes and women's shoes on the web um, which are somehow similar to those shoes. So um, it's very fast, it's very interactive, and um, we basically don't do this only in shoes, but we, we do this also in uh, other categories. So uh, for example, bags would be a category. Um, so if you like bags, there's basically most of the bags you can uh, get in the world uh, around 13,000 on this website. We always, always also do this actually for sites which have multiple, uh, basically, uh, categories. Uh, this is a site called uh, L, and uh, L is uh, basically one of the, or is the top women brand in the world in, in the magazine industry. Um, and they host this on their site to, to say, to excite the customer and um, to actually shop, uh, to instant shop. So uh, we start with a random set of basically images, but if you're really interested, let's say, in this kind of dress, uh, it's a beautiful Moschino dress, uh, you can actually recenter the network around that dress and uh, it should bring you things which somehow have a relevance to this. Um, we work with basically as a subset of all the database and images which we have in our system and um, it should allow you to very quickly uh, browse from, let's say, one category or one color or one texture or one shape kind of uh, uh, attribute to another and then uh, eventually find what you were looking for. And it's a bit like actually going to an established brand and trusting also what's coming up on the next page. So you click, there's a little bit of serendipity in here. As you go further to the outside, it's less relevant. So for example, here you, you have seen Tresses, there's a lot of tresses basically in this sector which have the same color, a lot of things which are with the same shape, but there's also some things here which can guide you into new sectors like for example shoes or, or bags. Um, we uh, can also structure this whole interface differently. For example, this is an inter interface running on Marie Claire. Um, and uh, on Marie Claire, if you now uh, look at that side, that's basically structured in a more linear way. And, um, Alex, are those people are paying you? Um, they're yeah, they're all paying. Us. We don't do things for free. <laughs> um, so this is basically an interface where I'm looking now uh, more in a linear way, but it's effectively doing the same thing. Um, if you want to jump away from, let's say, like a more colorful dress, but more to uh, this color range, then you can, you can go there. Um, we also, I show you, Couple of, yeah, I, we also host this in actually website like Netaporte. Netaporte is uh, one of the top luxury retailers in the world, and uh, we're looking at uh, basically their site to lift basically the inventory. It's very hard for customer to find inventory on the site. When you bring this on the site, you have traumatic basically impacts on two things: conversion rate and basket size. And this is actually a very very big driver for those uh, basically online shops. Um, another site is. Uh, Warehouse, um, one of the uh, basically established online brands, and for example, uh, wardrobe. Now, let me show you the presentation. Um, so really, it's, it's visual search, and um, the visual search is a, a conduit to a couple of things. 
Uh, one, actually, really what you have seen right now is e-commerce. Uh, the second piece is that we can apply it to a lot of websites to monetize them actually much, much better uh, by making actually the image something which is where you can have actually a monetization aspect against it. You can apply it to IPTV, so um, a stream of video is nothing else than actually single images. So we can identify on a streaming video what the people are wearing and actually match it with a database and a silo of products uh, an advertiser would uh, pot potentially have and then actually set an ad trigger. And really, this is all online, some, some way or form of online advertisement. Uh, which problems have we solved? One problem is, can you describe actually in words what you're looking for? A lot of things are very, very hard to describe. Um, I'm personally an engineer, and a lot of people uh, in my education told me, actually, draw a picture. It's much, much easier. And that's what we do here. The solution is actually the search term is an image. And so if you look at this image uh, on the L website, it has a characteristic, it has short sleeves, it has a kind of a, a certain neck, it has a buckle in front of it. And um, we can find objects, basically, which are very similar in shape, color, or texture, and uh, basically get very really satisfactory result for the user. What is search today? Search today looks like this. You put in three words, or most people put in actually one or two words. Um, rarely they put in three words and you get back thrown at you 800 words um, of which you will probably will read 15 and then make a decision. Um, this looks very much like uh, programming code to me and not like a proper interface. Uh, what is Pixter building? We're building really in a universal index. We're not looking only at a parallel. A parallel is a starting point uh, to uh, relate actually all images to all other images on the web. Um, an index of images which are searchable by simple clicks, clearly. Uh, no more text input. Very, very simple, basically, uh, clicks uh, basically by inputting and, and navigating from one image to the next. And, uh, well, the search query is an image rather than a word. What is our focus? Image search for consumers. So um, we really want to make life easier for the consumer. A lot of people are spending hours on the web to find things. Uh, for example, we have a baby car seat that has a certain color pattern. I know exactly the brand, but it's very, very hard to find this on the web. I, just w I wanted to buy the same one uh, for my car, for my second baby, and it was impossible. Actually, we searched for four hours, and we found it eventually in Poland. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next to any still or moving image, we can deliver contextual relevant images as advertisement, and our initial focus has been e-retail. Business model, really, if you have anything, uh, and you're in the audience, you have a portal, like a women's portal, or even a Yahoo and OL, AOL, or basically you have a publisher site, or a blog, or a social networking site, or basically some of our destinations. Um, if you want to monetize it more effectively, and you want to monetize the pictures on it, then come to us. Uh, because we can actually uh, monetize it and actually drive the traffic can generated out of these images, which hasn't been actually a monetized item, down to these retailers. And the retailers in itself becoming more and more customers of us and using the knowledge which we're getting out of the search to actually drive higher conversion rates. Additional products derivatives from visual search, clearly we can apply it to much more categories, and we have done so. We can do this in dating as well, with actually head uh, shots of people, um, we can apply it to the art sector, to furniture. It's basically uh, limitless. Um, now, this is an example from a blog. If you're writing a blog and you're basically somebody in a free time making some money on the site, and you usually monetize it over Google AdSense, that's a nice way to do this. But you can also actually encapsulate the images which you have on your blog and use them to feed them back into our networks and then derive uh, advertising revenue out of it. Um, contextual banners and skyscrapers, um, really what we can do as well is replace uh, these kind of text ads uh, with relevant basically image ads. Um, so we can read that image on that side and display on the side uh, basically the appropriate closest matches. And uh, we can do that same thing also in an e-tailer to recommend products out of the catalog of an e-tailer once you have landed on that site. Um, total addressable well, I sort of have a half an hour, but... <laughs> no, no, you had three minutes. Three minutes? <laughs> no, everybody has three minutes. I don't All right. Know so, I mean, then, then we should just stop there, yeah. I mean, that's fine. Um. <laughs> we should open it up to questions. I didn't... I didn't... <laughs>